I'm like, yo, hold it on the yeah. bass. You're a fucking seven. I used know? to do that. I used to request guys doing that. I'm like, hey, yeah, how big are you? I'm like, I don't know. I never measured my dick before. I'm like, well, just grab a ruler. What? Who does that? Yeah. I'm like, well, <laughs> well I want to know. <laughs> So I only know you as AZ Hot Wife. I don't even know your name. Do you have a name? I do have a name. What is it? It's Pamela. Pamela. Chris, <laughs> you failed to mention any of that shit to me. I mean, you know, got to keep names separate <laughs> until I asked, I guess. Oh, do you, do, you not, do you not make it known at all to... Uh, no, I do. Um, it's just easier with individuals I work with. I got gotcha. you. Just, I'm just so used to saying, like, their stage name or, like, with women especially because they have two different names then for sure yeah but, um, i just i've always wondered i'm like because like i i obviously know your handle is az hot wife which i again i see you everywhere he retweets you all the time yes. and then i see other guys in town they're always tagging and i'm like god who is this girl yeah. she's just on everyone's timeline yeah, here i am but that's cool how long have you been doing this content oh, content filming um well, i kind of dabbled with it in the early 2000s and then I just didn't know where or like what I wanted to do. Okay. And then I jumped back into it 2012, 2013, and that's when I met this guy. Hmm. And so yeah, we have a history together. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you have a stage name or no? Um, yeah, Apollo. Dang. Apollo the chocolate piece. I call him Ricky Rose. <laughs> yeah, he always calls me Rick Ross. Every I put him on the uh I think we we were trying to do a podcast with him like last month or so. And on my call sheet for, like, my camera assistant that I had and, like, my co-host, it said Rick Ross. And they were like, Ryan, you're fucking lying. And I was like, no, I swear to God, he's coming. (laughs) Oh, man. It's the beard. It's the beard. Oh, it's the beard. I hang hang out with him sometimes when he goes to strip club with me. Mm -hmm. And the dancers, he'll, like, end up leaving. And the girls will be like, Ryan, who is that? I'm like, it's fucking Rick Ross, dude. Like, why didn't you come say hi? Oh, I was I like, don't you see him. the don't you see the squad of girls that he comes in with? <laughs> like, obviously it's him. Did you? They believe it. So you've been in since 2013. Yes. What got you started? What got you into it? What got me into it? My husband was in the military, and one day he just brought back the idea to me because I guess it's a big thing in the military, just uh, swapping wives or husbands. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm intrigued. Is that, is that, a, that's really? Yeah, so he joined the military when he was 18. I was 18. He left for basic training. I didn't see him for like maybe a year or a little bit. And then he came back and he brought back the idea. At first, I was like, he's like, what do you think about us? Jesus, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. What do you think about um, you fucking another guy? And I was like, what? Why? And because at that point in time, I was just strictly mom and wife. That's it. I, wasn't, I always thought it was like, it was so wrong to look at other guys and just having like the thought of thinking of a guy was wrong to me. And so when he brought that idea to me, I was like, you're fucking crazy. And after that, I, we never spoke about it again. And then he brought it up again. And then I was like, okay. I, was, I became a little bit more open-minded to it. And so uh, he's like, you know, you should just start talking to guys. And it took me a while just because I was like, I didn't know what steps to take. And mind you, I was with this guy since I was 16. And like, you know, you just forget how to approach a guy. Right. So I was like totally lost in that department. And it took me a while just to like get comfortable with talking to other guys. And then um, he had this friend who was in the military, too. And so he started talking, we started talking, and then he was my first VC. Um, you know, just the whole process, everything, I had to take everything, and I was like, okay, what do I like, what I don't like? And then from there, it just kind of grew and grew and grew and grew. Wow. Yeah. So the gentleman that you're with right now, is that you've been with him since? He's the, he's the guy? Yeah. I'm 16. <laughs> Bravo, my guy. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Do you want to be? Do you want to sit with? I'm I'm curious to ask questions unless oh, you 
don't want to. Come, yeah, come, yeah, come, come on, on, Mr. J. Come on, just just sit next to her because I don't have a third mic, and we'll yeah, just no, I'll jump in the middle here. pass it over. We're always in the middle anyway. Right? <laughs> Dang. Oh, man. My right hand guy here. So so if you just want to pass it to him, so let me just right. try to adjust myself. Okay, yeah. so you got her into it in twenty thirteen. Is that yeah? So originally the idea came about like two thousand and eight. 2009. Okay. It was after a deployment, like my first time on post. There was um, a lot of barracks parties where, like, single Joes would be railing through <coughs> somebody's wife what? in, like, the rec room or somebody's room. And then, like, I walked in a couple times. I'm like, damn, what the hell is going on here? When, it, when you tear away the blinders of, like, the social norm that's pushed on everybody. Of course. And you actually see what happens, like, behind closed doors in the real world. Like, man, that's kind of intriguing. That's like, that's different from everything I've ever known. Why not try to apply this to my own relationships? Because it seemed like everybody else was happy. Like, hey, they come to functions, you know, smile, kiss the baby, look at the camera, shake hands, all that good stuff. And so we talked about it. And it was for the longest time where we're just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to where she, we, we did one thing, we did another thing. And it just kind of grew, like she said, just evolved from there. And um, next thing you know, here we are today. That's wild. See, like my so my ex is a is a porn star, right? And when we when when she met me, she was just like a babysitter, right? Yeah. And then she was like, "Oh my god, your lifestyle is so fucking cool. I want to be a porn star." And I was like, "Man, do I want to date someone that's gonna be like fucking everyone?" You know. And then uh, I just said, fuck it. And then she started doing it, right? And then I fell in love with, like, knowing that the whole world, like, is in love with my girlfriend, you know? Yeah. But to me, I will be honest, eventually down the road, it got, like, I got tired of it, of, like, her coming back and, you know, uh, just, like, the same thing over and over again. But I feel like if it wasn't work related and it was like more like just we're going out to swinger parties or shit, like I'd be okay with that, you know? Yeah. But do you, it, it never bothers you guys? Like it's never gotten to a point where. No, I mean, I think it's more because we started out more on the lifestyle part of things. That was like the okay. biggest aspect that kind of parlayed us into what we're doing now. For sure. And it was. In the lifestyle, that gave us the opportunity to make all the mistakes okay. before you start creating content to figure out your, your do's and your don'ts, your likes, your dislikes, and a lot of the things that we had to talk about to build the communication between each other and what I'm into and what she's into. So that, w- that was the, like the foundation for what we're doing. Right. Um, so it, it allowed us to make tons of mistakes. Oh yeah, we made tons of mistakes. We still do to this day. Yeah, yeah, we still make we still make tons of, tons of mistakes, but it never bothers me because I think about it in the mentality of um, from a from a very humanistic point of view of remember when we were children, right? And somebody plays with a toy that's ours. Mm-hmm. And we're like, "Oh man, you're playing with a toy of mine. I want to play with that toy even though I haven't played with it for for the longest time." So it in my my sense, it makes me want her more. Okay. After all these years, I see her out there, you know, creating content with an established individual or somebody in the lifestyle. Just the visual optics of that makes me like, oh, man, I can't wait till we get home because we're going to we're going to do some wild, crazy stuff. Damn. And then how'd you come across Mr. Chris over here? Oh, Chris, man. how'd you how'd you get in this with them? Well, by trade, you know, I'm a swinger. You even uh, sound like Rick Ross, man. I'm Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, so by trade, like I'm a swinger. I got into the lifestyle. Um, in 2018, after I had broke up with um, someone that I felt I was going to marry, you know, thought I was going to be with this person. I've always felt I belonged in a lifestyle, always was intrigued by swinging. Um, she liked girls, so that kind of helped a little bit too, but we ended up breaking up. And then after that, I just kind of jumped right into the lifestyle and um, been swinging since. And then, uh, Let's see, I got in, what, 2018 in February was my first swingers party. And I think I met I met you guys at the end of about 2018, yeah. right? Yeah, my bad. I said 2018. 
took it way back. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I had my timeline. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 We actually met Chris, because I remember, because we filled him out via messages. He, he reached out on Twitter, and that was like early 2017. I thought it was 2018. That no, was 2017. It was like early 2017. Oh, you know what? It probably, I, I yeah, it was 2017. Man. And then yeah. my first party was in February. It was a Super Bowl party in February of 2018. Yeah. And then I think we finally linked up and met up sometime in 2018, I think it was. I know the first meeting was in 2017, according to the telltale date on the video. This guy's got it spot on, Chris, dude. He Fucking does. Jesus, he's like, dude. He's like, yeah, he just has everything. Military, man. He's got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah, it was Don't fuck with me. I know my, my timeline. Memory of an elephant over there, shit. <laughs> yeah, no, we, uh, he reached out to us and was just like, you know, went through the... Send us a dick pic first. Yeah, well, I ain't just saying you no know, dick pic first. God, that's how you get. That's how you get <laughs> shut down. It, was, it, was, it wasn't impressive. If I had to turn. I was like, oh shit. He sent that on, on an Android, so it's kind of pixelated. <laughs> do you like, do you handle her DMs or uh, do you handle part, it? No. Um, no. She does everything. Yeah. She okay. Does, she does everything. For the Sometimes there be boyfriends that are like that. Like oh. yeah. Like I, dude. I'll be honest. I signed this one guy, and this dude was like. He was handsome as fuck. He looked like he belonged in, like, a Calvin Klein magazine, right? And I was like, all right, I'm going to book this guy, no problem. I sign him. Dude's getting fucking requested left and right. I'm sending him call sheets. His fucking girlfriend is sending me personal text messages. I don't even have her number. Didn't even ask for it, right? Sending me fucking, she, like, grabbed my number through his phone and was like, you can book my boyfriend all you want, but he can't shoot with her. And I was oh, like, wow. I'm like, why? She's like, he's, he's, she's way too fucking hot. Or like, she's only a seven. And I was like, look, sweetheart, I'm not going to talk to you. I don't represent you. If he doesn't want to shoot with her, it's got to come from him. Mm-hmm. And looking at this dude, I mean, he's like big. He's jacked. He's, you know, he's very intimidating looking guy, but like still like good looking. And he ended up calling me one day and he's like, hey, man, like the soft little voice. He's like, hey, man, like, this is just isn't going to work out. Like, yeah. my girlfriend just doesn't want me to fuck her because she's just too hot. Oh, wow. And like, that, uh, long story short, it was just like, what the fuck, you know? But you guys obviously don't have any jealousy. Oh, no. Controlling no. fucking no. issues. Oh, no, no, never, no. He's <laughs> never, always never. like, if you don't like this person, you don't have to do anything with him. Yeah, you don't have just, to do anything. Yeah. Damn. I think it's just the, the giving the full control, the freedom of <laughs> having to make those choices because you know there's some individuals out there who you know they kind of just go and do at the behest of some individuals um but our dynamic and what works for us is like hey you know what how you approach her is you know very paramount to what she does with you or if she's gonna take the time to give you her phone number or take the time to talk to you on twitter or whatever platform it may be yes. um and chris just sliding in here with a fucking cock pick Right? Yeah, we always give wheels yeah, crap, about, just, crap about that. First, no. first, first thing I did, I was just like, you know what? Hey, let me just go ahead and throw it out there. Throw the bait. I'll be on in, in mainstream, in like in the big company world, um, um, a guy sending a girl a dick pic right off the bat or like, hey, um, I'm Sean. This is what I'm working with. Instantly, girls would just block. Yeah, it's yeah. just to like. clarify. It's he didn't send us a dick pic. Yeah. No, nah, it, it, yeah, it, <laughs> it was a joke. It was a joke. No, <laughs> shit. All the, all the time. No, I would shit. never. I would never do that. That's just yeah. not. That's he, just not uh, how I. It was do more that. like William Shakespeare. Fucking. It was a a, a poem kind of. Yeah, it was. He lost was me scary. after like the third paragraph, but. Yeah, I sent like a novel. It was like a long ass. It was like a, a resume. Like, <laughs> like, like, together. Like, you, so I'll ask Chris. You get? Do you get uh, bothered by unsolicited pussy pics? I mean, I, if I'm telling the truth, I haven't received any yet. So <laughs> if y'all out there in Twitter land and, and YouTube land or whatever want to send me unsolicited pussy pics, please do. <laughs> do you get Do you get bothered by unsolicited di- dick pics? You know what? I honestly, I don't mind. But there are some days where I will get hundreds and, like, you know, just going through messages. It's just kind of like redundant. It's like dick, 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 dick. And I'm just like, okay, today's one of those days. But for the most part, I don't get bothered by it. Dang. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm like, stuck in me. I get both as, like, an agent. Mm-hmm. I'll get the pussy pics. I'll get the dick pics. And I'm just, like, this is fucking annoying. Like, yeah, some days. They'll just be. DM me. They're like, hey, I want to be a model. Look at my fucking dick that's, I'm like, no. Everybody's dick yeah. is 
What'd you say? I said everybody's dick on a six inch phone looks pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it, it, for the agency, you got to put a ruler next yeah. to your dick. And some of these guys, they'll like tuck the ruler like under their balls. Mm-hmm. So it makes it look like, oh, I'm a fucking 10. Yeah. I'm like, yo, hold it on the yeah. base. You're a fucking seven. I used know? to do that. I used to request guys doing that. I'm like, hey, how big are you? I'm like, I don't know. I never measured my dick before. I'm like, well, just grab a ruler. What? Who does that? Yeah. I'm like, well, well I want to know. Yo, yeah. I can't. I can't tell you how many how many guys that I'll come across and their bios would be like 13 inch dick, mm-hmm. 12 inch, 11 inch, and I'll immediately send them a DM like, yo, if you can prove to me that you're 13, I'll sign you right now. They're okay. like, bet. What do I got to do? I'm like, go to CVS, go get a fucking ruler, take me this exact photo, mm-hmm. and then also take another photo with, like, a fucking Coke can so I can, like, see the width. And they're like, Jesus Christ. And they'll do it, and then they're like, oh, shit, dude. And like, And it'll say 12 in bio, yeah. but it's, like, a fucking nine on the ruler. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you've been lying this whole fucking time. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, I've come across some people like that where, you know, in a picture, you're like, okay, it looks decent. And then in person, it's like, okay, um, yeah. this is not what I was expecting, but okay. But some guys be taking, uh, Chris, you wouldn't know this because you don't have an iPhone, but um, <laughs> some guys be taking their dick pics in, what is it, like portrait mode or like, I think it's like 0. 0.5 on the Zoom thing, yeah, yeah. and it makes their dick look even bigger. Mm-hmm. Like I got one guy, uh, Damon Daisky. I think he's got, I think he's like 11 or 12. And he's, I mean, he's fucking huge, right? His dick yeah. is huge, but on on the when he fucking angles it, <laughs> I'm like, yo, is that is that photoshopped? Like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? And he's like, no, Ryan, that's that's my dick. <laughs> but do you like do you like big? Do I like big? Yeah, I love big dick. I do, I do, I do. Damn. Yeah. Do you ever do you ever hurt chicks when you're fucking? You got a pretty. I'm, I'm average, bro. I'm average? Only, I'm only like seven and a half inches, bro. I'm average as hell. You know what, dude? I thought I was seven my whole life. And then I met my partner because he, he films professionally. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, Ryan, I'm seven. So I'm like a proud four, dude. You're a proud four. <laughs> proud four. Hey, or five. It. Somewhere around there. Slang, slang that shit probably. I'm bro. not even in like the people like when I openly freely say that people are like, yeah. oh, you're like in that penis humiliation type thing. Like I'm not. Mm-hmm. I just like so many dudes around town are always like my dick's the biggest. Yeah. And then you come across a chick that wants to fuck you and they're like, Ryan, I bet your dick is big. I'm like, it's actually fucking small. Yeah. And they're like, no, that's like a cover up. Like you're fucking huge, right? Mm-hmm. Like, no, it's. No, it's not hey. that fucking small. I love how you're open about it. No, I just, I just, uh, dude, you come across so many dudes. Like, I'm sure, you, I'm sure people that hit you guys up all the time, how do I get into it? My dick's fucking huge, right? Well. People say that? There, yeah, there is. But then to me, I like, I love meeting my fans. So right. So it doesn't, I don't care how big your dick is or how small. But um, just like deep downside, like I just love big dick. But, okay. Um, I like fucking with all dicks. Dang, you might be the first girl. I mean, there's girls that come on here that are like, I love monstrous dick. But never do I hear a girl that's like, I just want big dick all the time. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Because, like, that shit just be probably hurting. No. We never ran into somebody who was Well, how the fuck would you know? Uh, because like we always have talks after, <laughs> and she's like, "You got a pussy over there, bro." I'm, I'm like, "No, I'm like, because every time we get done filming, right, or we get done creating a piece of content, I'm like, hey, look, are you good? Yeah, because I was watching and man, some shit was getting fucking rearranged. Um, so you good? You need ice pack? You need a towel? Are you good? Just let me know." And she's like, "No, nah, that was that was great." And I'm like, "God damn, that looked like it fucking hurt. That looked like a medical procedure, but." Okay, as long as you're good. I mean, we've never, I mean, yeah. from what I've been told, we've she's never run across somebody who's, like, too big. Damn. And, you know, she always steps up to the challenge because there's some dudes out there who message us, and they'll be like, I'm going to break you. And this one over here will be like, I uh, know you're fucking not. <laughs> what does yeah. that even mean, I'm, I'm going like, to fucking shit, break you? Cool. Chris, how many, how, many, how many shoots have you done with... What am I saying? Am I saying Pamela or am I saying... Yeah, Easy hot wife. Okay. All right. I don't want to. Chris, how many how many shoots have you guys done? Um, I feel like you've done like a hundred from what I see. Ten. Yeah, I would say probably about ten. About ten. ten. Yeah, there's yeah. somewhere in that somewhere in that 
Yeah, we so, can't leave out the time when you guys fucking cucked me. Unwillingly. Oh, shit. You know what? There's been a goddamn cuck conversation every episode. <laughs> yeah, no. You, so now I finally have someone on this podcast that is officially a cuck? No, not officially. It, no. it was, I don't know but how you experienced it fucking happened. It. Like, we were just kind of hanging out. We had, a, we had a room, and we're like, oh, let's fucking staycation. And Pam was over here like, oh, let's message Chris. So we messaged Chris. The guy will be there in a little bit. And it's actually not that far from here. And shows up. And I'm like, all right, man, you guys just have fun. I'm going to, I'll be doing some things that I need to do. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right, I'm watching. And I'm going to partake because it's more kind of no cameras rolling or anything. It's just us having fun as friends. And at one point during the whole soiree of things, I get kind of pushed out Damn. and relegated. Who pushed to- you out, Chris? Don't blame that shit on me. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> you know, just, Don't blame that shit on me. It was more her. She was just like, <laughs> no way. Like, she's like, hey, babe, go sit over there. <laughs> Non-verbally. She told me with her eyes and her body language, and I was Get like. Get the fuck in the corner. Yeah, just like, go over there. And so I go over to the like little, little, little chair, and I sit there, and I'm like, okay. So, Were you completely just like sad at that point? No, I, I had my sad moment, but I was like, mm, okay, this is fun to watch still. I mean, it's, it's less, uh, less output for me. I get to enjoy watching the things I watch. And Shit, have fun. dude, if I was you, man, in that fucking moment, I would probably think that, like, this guy's fucking better than me. Like, this guy's actually fucking my chick better than me, so now I'm getting put in the corner. That's... <laughs> yeah, it, it, never, it never crossed my mind. I was like... To be truly honest, like all my years in service, I got tons of issues, like my back, my knees, my hips. There's things I can't do anymore. Right. Or I'm like, as long as you're having fun and I get to watch, and that fulfills the things that I can't do. Fuck, oh, Chris, um, did you just feel like a total boss kicking the, nah, it's, kicking the husband to the side? No, nah, it's just yeah. one of them things that it's just in a moment type thing. You just kind of interact with the person that you're interacting with we just had our moment and did you just like lock eyes with her and just tell her like telepathically was, like tell him to get I the was, fuck i was just looking <laughs> deep into her eyes yeah it was like it was <laughs> literally like honeymoon like it's like him telling you with his eyes like yeah let's get him let's get him kicked out of here and then she telling you yeah get the fuck to the side yeah <laughs> it, was, it was literally honeymoon sex at that point i was like this is pretty fucking hot to watch i'm gonna go yes okay guys i get the hint i'm gonna go sit on the couch over here see but to to, to to my credit there i think this is one of the times where we kind of just hadn't seen each other in a while yeah it, yeah. it, it had been a little while you know we have our we have our moments where like we won't see each other for like months you know, we'll, te- now, we'll, te- like, we'll text and keep in contact and things like yeah. that, but we just won't be able to physically see each other yes. for, like, months at a time. So I think this is one of those times that we were just in the moment, not on camera. Um, I'm sure people in the industry can attest to this sometimes. Oh, this wasn't filmed? No, this was yeah, not filmed. Film. So oh, shit. usually, you know, me personally, unfilmed sex and stuff like that, I am, my sex to me is better unfilmed. 100%. So it was just one of those moments it wasn't filmed. I hadn't seen each other in a while, so it, yeah, it just kind of played out the way it played out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was oh, it was a good time until you came on my fucking uh, sweat towel that I always carry around. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he always has a towel. I always have a towel, yeah, and he's like, right "Where's my, my towel?" I got one in my pocket like, now because I sweat a lot. Fucking Jesse, you nutted know, all over. I, I had a bust in that. <laughs> <laughs> you nutted in his fucking towel. Yeah. If he spent a little bit more money on his towels, like have like an embroidery. Oh, shit. Sure. No, oh, my God. Not the, not my the free towels nice. from the gym. Man, <laughs> stop it. My towels are nice. He only has all these nice towels to because cotton. he goes to the gym and they're like, hey, Chris, look at you. Gotta stop, you got to stop stealing the real towels. Look at Go buy your own. Put a D on there or something. And yeah, so I, I, could, I didn't even remember that I. Yeah, that was funny. Load <laughs> that was your, fucking your funny. fucking towel. Yeah, I think I kind of remember now. Yep. That, was, that, that was fucking epic. That was funny. That was fun Why are you not on towels and not on? Because he didn't want to disturb the moment. Yeah, oh, like, shit. Yeah. I don't want to intrude. It's not in your fucking hand or something. <laughs> not in your hand? No. Come on, yeah, yeah, no. Who does that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? You were, hold on. You were in the corner? This is during the corner? <laughs> I like, they were going through, like, they were literally fucking, like, fucking hard. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, fuck, man. This shit. Woo. I think I'm going I'm to drop my load here. So I fucking got up, and there was a towel. Little did I know it was his towel. And I went over to the restroom, like, ah, oh, fuck. I, I fucking came. And I'm like, all right, you know, 
I'll fucking put, throw the towel to the side. See, I'm such an asshole. I probably wouldn't have even told my homie that I nutted in his towel. <laughs> bro, it was yeah. fucked up. I probably would have just gave it to him and then him be like, oh, I'm fucking oh, no, he sweaty. And then, Man, I ain't take that shit. He I'm got got another one. He's like, ooh, soiled towel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is fucking wild. So, Chris, every time that you do content, is it like, what's your, like, what are you, what are you looking for in that, like, I don't know, like, what, what do you look for in that person to do content? Is it just, like, based off of looks? Is it based off of, like, followers? No. Is uh, it, like, chemistry? Like, what is it? I'm going to go with, well, I mean, first off, I'm so new at this. Like, I've only been, I think, what, my OnlyFans is, what, a month old? Um, yeah, a little over a month old. Um, so I just really got into the con- content phase of everything. Um as far as what I look for in a, in, in a co-star is obviously I got to have some type of chemistry with you, you know, um, you know, some type of vibe, um, followers. I can care less about the followers, you know, for sure. Um, everywhere, everybody's got to start somewhere. You know, of course. I started with zero followers and, you know, these guys have blessed me with, with knowledge into the industry as far as, you know, what to go, what to do, what to look for. Perfect mentors. I, I should say, um, so they've helped a lot with, with, you know, transitioning. But, yeah, as far as talent, like, as long as we vibe, we're cool. Um, we can sit and have a little conversation before I'm fucking you or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, that's just all I really look for. And followers I could care less about. Um, you know, your look, your, your style, what are you, what are you, you know, what are you trying to go for there? And, you know, I love girls with tattoos. Um, I you, mean, like, you like chicks with dreads, too. I know that. Damn right, I do. <laughs> I know exactly which one I'm talking about. Shout <laughs> out, Annika Flower. Yes, Annika Flower. You are fucking amazing. Such a such an amazing person. Oh, speaking of that, man, shit. When she came here for that uh, uh, that feature dance, man, I was su- I was surprised she remembered me from the day that you called her. Hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like when I was there um, at the strip club that night, she saw me and she came over and she talked and. She's like, yeah, Ryan, you called, uh, Ryan called me that one day with you, right? And I was well, like, not yeah. everybody looks like Ricky Rose, my <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. But yeah, shout out Indica, man. You, you are an amazing soul. I'm Indica. You need to come to Arizona and quit playing games. Yes, okay. Please We're trying do. to get you on this podcast for like. <laughs> and Ryan, ever. if she comes on this podcast, bro, mm-hmm. back, bring me back, please. Mm-hmm. That is, that is, uh, 100% for sure. So how many, how many shoots have you done in the whole entire month? Like, you, wait, you've only had your OnlyFans for a month, you said? Like a month and a half, maybe. About a month and a half. Um, You'd be fucking every day of the week, or what? No. Seems like it. <laughs> I wish. Um, no, I think, so, I don't know how much content we have right now. There's a lot of, a lot hey. of, in the pipeline. We've, we've been just racking it up, man. Yeah, we have this month. We've been, like, Yeah, busy, this month busy. has been crazy. Yeah, it's been really crazy. This Two to three a week so far for the past yeah. like three. So you've weeks. been busy doing your thing, and you're just you're busy also. Okay, so what we have here is <clears throat> what we from the moment that they kicked me to the side, we kind of <laughs> we kind of parlayed into something else. Our kind of our friendship and what we started doing, therefore after, grew into something else. Okay. Um, we kind of got into bed in the non-literal sense, and like, hey, you know what? Let's become partners in doing something what we're doing, you know, use our contacts and the individuals we know to help you get to where you want to be. And with that, we'll kind of, we're together as, um, it's not a thruple, but, for, I mean, I do, t- be, I do I talk mean, to him a lot. That, we that do sounds, talk a lot. That sounds, that um, sounds like it, a good word to use, a thruple. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have, like, your own site that you're building, or what is like, what are you talking about? Mm, cat's not out of the bag yet, but... Yeah. Okay. In the next uh, next few months, we're going to be rolling out some pretty big um, sites. Because our thing is, after we've been doing this for the longest time, or she's been doing this for the longest time, um, taking into account that we're getting older, and we don't... Y'all look young as fuck, by the oh, way. I don't man, know what the I fuck you're talking about. That. We're old. We're, we're, we're going to be 36. Yeah, so... Yeah, but Wait, like, for real? Yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah. You think that's old? No, old. it's not old. How old, how, old do you th- how, old, how old do you think I am? 42. 42? Yeah, Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I just guessed. Are you f- 42? Uh-huh. What the fuck? I should just fucking hang up the <laughs> towel right now. 42? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was going to fuck with you and tell you I was like 40 or something. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Do I look 42? No. <laughs> uh, Help. I was just kidding. <laughs> I just, you look, you I look like I just like totally offended you. No, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm 32. Oh. Okay, I mean. Damn. Wow. I just had to like reconsider some shit that I do in my life. <laughs> Maybe it's, maybe it's the lighter hair. Yeah, Holy fuck! I do do li- I do do I do make it blonde because y'all stress me out sometimes. Yeah, I get the the gray hair. But anyway, you guys are thirty six. Yeah, you guys are young as fuck. You guys, no oh, man, like you take the military aspect into it. I got the body of like a sixty five year old man. It's okay. so crazy. Yeah, every time I go to the doctor's office, especially if it's a new doctor, and they take like take X rays and stuff, they're like, "Holy shit, you're." Body is destroyed. I'm like, yeah. So, um, on the inside, he's completely broken. On the outside. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not completely. Whoa. Broken. Dude, this girl is just <laughs> offending everybody right now. Jeez. Yeah, he's not my com- husband. Not completely broken. See, Alice fixed that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for my doctor for my nice prescription. Yeah. But yeah, no. Um, we're Thursday. We're not going to be doing this forever. And so what we want to do and what we've been striving to do is, one, create partnerships and connections and friendships um, inside the industry, outside the industry to parlay into what's next for us. I got you. And what that is more of a business aspect than anything. So that's what we've been working towards for for months now. Do you just, like, fuck all your fans or are you fucking everyone? Or, like, I want to know some, like, kind of nasty shit about both of you. It's kind of what this whole podcast is about. I want to kind of dig into, like, some freaky shit. Um... Like with me, I have to have some type of chemistry, whether it's with my fans or somebody just personal. Um, I love going through all my messages and finding those individuals. To me, chemistry is number one. Number two, respect. Like, don't just right off the bat send me a fucking dick pic. And Chris. like, I don't mind looking at them, but <laughs> at the same time, <laughs> I'm just kind of like, come on now. Like, we're both grown adults. Yeah. You know, you should be like, hi, how are you? I'm so and so. And then from there, it just kind of grows. Um, and then, yeah, so with my fans, I take that route. With somebody personal, it's a little bit different. Like, I get to, obviously, because I'll be talking to them in person. Um, but, yeah, for the most part, I love fucking my fans. I do fuck my fans. What's some crazy shit that you've done? You do everything? Like um, anal, gangbangs, orgies? Yes, I do pretty much everything. Water sports? Um, no. Not no? Um, there's like a lot I haven't really dabbled into. Okay. Just like from what I see on my timeline, when every time I see your page, I'm like, this girl's a freak. <laughs> this girl is doing everything and everything. Yeah. But what did you say? Yeah. Everyone and everything. Yeah, there's something she's been trying to do to me that I'm, I don't think oh, it's ever going to fucking I'm happen. Ooh, yes. What is it? What is it? <laughs> I'm trying to peg you. Fuck. Yeah, dude, yeah. do it. I mean, I wouldn't like, do it, but like, you should do it. Up. I am trying to. This guy, too, at home. I'm like, come yeah, it's, on. There's going to have to be a lot of money involved on that one. I'm not trying to peg Chris. I'm trying to peg <laughs> you and Chris. There would have God to be a damn. lot of money involved I'm on that one. To. I, I, had a, I had a guy on here not too long ago. He said that his rule with his girlfriend was that if, if she made it six months mm-hmm. in their relationship, she could peg the fuck out of him. Wow. And I told him, I was like, bro, it's kind of weak, man. At least, like, make it a fucking year. Something. That way, you know, it's, like, real. <laughs> And, but I guess she didn't make it six months, so uh, his booty hole is safe. Yeah, mine will be safe. I'm it's just kind of like, y'all take some big shits. Like, I don't see what the problem <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Exit oh only. Exit only. You just got to relax. Nah, and then no I don't know what it is, man. All these girls, they all just want to, like, fuck an ass. Man, fuck it, a I'm, virgin I'm ass. Because you, all you guys are always like, let me fuck you in the ass. Like, it's like feels good. supposed to do. Yeah, it does feel good. Um, but but we don't like that shit. But I had, have you ever tried it? I mean, I've had, <laughs> I've had, I've had a girl... Put her finger in my butthole, right? Uh-huh. And we were talk- I was talking about this the other day. Like, you can go, like, knuckle deep, right? But anything more than that, I couldn't imagine what two fingers feels like. Okay, then. So this is the thing with these two. Like, you've never had, besides the doctor, but I'm pretty sure you weren't relaxed. Like, you don't know if you don't like it. Or you don't You're talking like about it. prostate shit? I haven't, I haven't yeah. had, I haven't had that we're doctor knocked exam oh, yet, so not but yet. The prostate thing, we're all knocked the fuck out. Check my bowel. I guess my doctor was. Like, hey. <laughs> he was like, "This guy can, this guy can fucking handle it." <laughs> I was like, uh, well, "Is that, a, is that a glove? Is that your class ring?" <laughs> That's crazy. 
I don't know. Maybe they do it different at the VA. Or the... Well, the VA, we get, like, I'm sorry, but we get the bottom dollar care. No, nah, so, I don't yeah. fucking know. I just know that, like, my dad, he had to get that shit. And my dad's a big dude, and they had to, like, give him, like, twice or triple, like, the dosage to, like, mm-hmm. knock him out. He said when he was on the table and they were, like, fucking going in, that the dosage wasn't high enough. Mm-hmm. And he all of a sudden, he was like, fuck, <laughs> as they're shoving a fucking thing up his ass. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. But I, I could just start off with like the little I don't, one. I Chris, don't what's even, Chris? What's the what's the fucking what's the what's the rate, man? What do you what, what would you do for it? I, I don't even know, man. But it, it's it's gonna cost a lot. I, I'll put it out there. It's gonna cost a lot, bro. <laughs> we got a used iPhone for you. Uh, yeah. Dude, I'll I give you an iPhone if you <laughs> fucking do it. <laughs> Yo, leave my leave my Galaxy alone, man. What is, what is this Gal- shit? Galaxy what, gang over here. What, what's what is Samsung it? Why here. won't you do a fucking iPhone? I just don't like them, bro. I don't like iPhones. I don't know what the big craze is about them. I mean, I understand that. I guess they're easier to use, but I I like what you can do with a with a with a Galaxy more than what you could do with an iPhone. Or you what can you custom- can't do. Bro, yeah, true. Know, there is some yeah. stuff that, that there is big disadvantages, especially you know when t- trying to upload stuff to oh OnlyFans. From, I keep telling him he needs to box. have his own phone, which can be his personal, but then he has to get his whole phone. Get my trap phone? Yeah. I've been trying to send this guy pictures and videos and shit no, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and it just fucking doesn't go through. Uh-huh. Because he's got a goddamn green bubble dinosaur. My shit ain't no dinosaur, bro. Dumbass. Yes. Same here, same here. He'll be like, did you get the text? And we're like, what text? That's, be- <laughs> that's because y'all need to give Verizon. Y'all don't have Verizon. That's what it is. Yeah, right. Anytime I send anything to anybody else or get anything when it comes Verizon, I get it right away. So y'all need to send it in the U.S. Postal Service. Like, you put a stamp on it and then send it to them. And they get a postal <laughs> right there. And I'm like, oh, hey, that's what Chris was sending me right <laughs> Oh, my God. You don't even need Verizon. You get team. I got T-Mobile. I had T-Mobile for, like, 10 years. Yeah. I pay oh. a, I pay like 145 for my phone. But that's, like, two terabytes of shit. I don't a lot. Know, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe. What's Verizon? What do you, what do you, are they charging you? Well, there's three lines on on my plan, so I'm paying like three, three hundred five, three hundred six, or something like that. I'm Damn, I got a phone and I got two Apple Watches, so fuck Verizon. That must be nice. Fuck yeah. Verizon. So let's say it together. Ready? No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I, fuck, I, I fuck with Verizon. So. <laughs> your service, your server, your service has been terminated. My service has been terminated. Yeah, they're going to get the message if you say it. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I did have Verizon. I, I had Verizon in high school, and then I went on a cruise. Total blonde moment right here. Went on a cruise. Went to Puerto Rico. Went to all these different fucking islands. Came back. My phone bill was like $1,000. Mm-hmm. And I'm in the Verizon store, and I'm like, yo, Puerto Rico is part of the United States. Like, why the fuck is my bill so high? And they were like, you're an idiot. Because these other islands are like, you're an idiot. So I went to T-Mobile and I was like, yo, fuck Verizon. They're like, cool, we'll pay your bill. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. They've had me ever since. So let's say it together. Ready? Verizon don't do shit like that. Verizon don't pay your bill. I'm going to go ahead and keep quiet on that. <laughs> <laughs> Verizon ain't never did me wrong. <laughs> and just don't ask them to buy you tacos. Is that right, Pam? Yes, I'm still over Here tacos. we go with it. All right. See, I like uh, this. You guys got some beef somewhere? What is this? <laughs> Literally. Some some Jerry Springer. And I, and, I told, and I told her I'll make it up to her and I'll cook her dinner too. And she, I mean, what's up? You don't want me to cook you dinner instead? Where? I don't know. At home? At home? At our place? Airbnb? I don't know. Home places somewhere. Okay. <laughs> you guys do seem like you're in a throuple for sure. Yeah. All right, man. A little throuple.com. I, I, I love these guys. Like, seriously, man. He's, it has been a blessing meeting them. And hanging out and getting to know them over the years, it, it's seriously been a blessing. So, yeah, well, yeah, I guess a thruple is a is a is a good word to classify as professional thruple. Mm-hmm. Professional thruple, yes. Professional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you, Chris, what's the nastiest shit you've ever done? Mm, nastiest, or you come across nasty like na- When I say nasty, I'm talking like like some crazy, kinky, fucking wild shit. I mean, you know, one of them. No, I don't. Mia, on a boat in Mexico. Oh, you savage motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't know the story. Yeah. I don't Scr- think we were this girl totally story. lied to me. I was like, you're supposed to be in a shoot. And the next <laughs> thing I know is you're just getting fucking railed out on a boat in Mexico. <laughs> and I'm like. Oh, man, bro. I didn't even. See, I didn't know she had a shoot. I didn't know she was supposed to be at a shoot for that. 
Fuck yeah, man. Man, I didn't fucking know, bro. I didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, it was that was a good time. I was salty as fuck, if we're going to be clear. Yeah, right now, I, I was I, super hey, salty. Bro, look, hey, but I, it's not your fault, though. No, it's know? not. I did not fucking know. <laughs> I did not know. But yeah, that boat. That boat ride in Mexico was was Rockin'. it was worth it. <laughs> I had a model, I had a model that was like Ryan. I want to take my career serious, and I was like, all right, sick. Like we're on the fuck because she was on the right path to like go fucking kill it. She would fucking kill it, man. I she was only in it for like a week, and yeah. I was getting blown up. They were like, oh my god, oh my god, she and kill it. she was like, yeah, Ryan, I'm trying to take it serious, and I was like, all right, sick. You're booked for the next fucking almost week, mm-hmm. and she's like, oh well. I think I'm going to go to Mexico. And I was like, you just told me that you wanted to, like, do this. She's like, all right, fine, I'll stay. Yeah. Next day, didn't show up for a scene. Mm-hmm. Fucking okay. look on my goddamn timeline. This fucking guy. Bro, I did not know. And he's like, the fucking post is like, yeah, just fuck me. You know, or I won't say the fucking name. <laughs> Paul, block that out. <laughs> just fuck so-and-so. And I'm like, this motherfucker. <laughs> I didn't know she was supposed to be in shoots and shit, bro. We had talked. To, we had talked. So, so we went to Mexico for my birthday. It was my birthday trip. Um, last year? Yeah, last year. Okay. Oh, yeah, last okay. Yeah. Last September. Yep. So we were going for that, and uh, you know, she had mentioned that she wanted to come or whatever. And oh man, I mean, this this even gets. I don't even know if I want to put this out here because if, if my ex finds out, it, and anyway, she's the best friend of my ex. So yeah, I fuck my ex's best friend. So yeah, fuck I you, have to. It's okay. Fuck you for that because anyway, okay. but anyway, um, so she had mentioned she wanted to go, um, you know, to Mexico or whatever. So you know, shit, we went. I didn't know. I did not know she had shoots and stuff planned with you until you freaking called me and was like, "What the hell?" I'm just like, "Wait, whoa!" I didn't know. Yeah. So because even after the Mexico thing. I, I think, was like, yeah, you had I some shit her, planned for her too. After that, I had, I I had, I had something else planned for her, and she's mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, I'm back in fucking Calif." Or what'd she say? She was in like Texas or some shit. I don't even know. And I had to like reach out to him. I was like, "Dude, where is she?" Because tell me one thing. Yeah, we was, we stayed we stayed a little longer than what we were supposed to. It was fun. It, uh, it definitely was fun. We went to like a, a swingers resort. I feel like it's do you get accomplished when you take when you get to fuck my models or what? I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's a total compliment. I'm not. Like, I would say, yeah, man. I mean, shit, you got some. You got out some. of all my friends that I have, like mm-hmm. personal and industry, they're always like, Ryan, hook it up, hook it up. And I'm like, yo, fucking do it yourself. Like, yeah. I'm not that type of, like, hey, you're going to go shoot, you're going to go fuck my friend. Like, I'm not like that. So every time I see him, like, you're accomplish like- it with my models. <laughs> I'm like, this guy's got fucking game, dude, because I'm, I'm, I know how they are in person, mm-hmm. and they're like, fuck every single guy. I don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah, you know who's on my top list on that one, too. Ricky Rose just fucking sliding <laughs> in. You know, you know which one I want the most out of that one, too. And there's, fucking there's, shout it out. Who do, you wanna, who do you want? Indica. Come on. Indica, Indica Flower. <laughs> Let's make this happen, please. <laughs> and You're seriously in my phone as Chris Indica Flower fan. <laughs> That's what your phone has. Are you serious? I swear to God, dude. Serious? Yeah, like when when we walked in the door and you were calling, right? It was like Chris Indica Flower fan calling. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, whoa, whoa, hey, oh, there shit. he is. Yep, Chris there, Indica Flower guy. fan. Oh shit! Wow. So yeah, she's definitely yeah. she's definitely uh, on my top list of one of your models, and, and Chloe too. Chloe too. Chloe's badass, man. Chloe, That's my she best is, friend. She is. She's she's dope. I've I've interacted with her before. She's dope. She's super dope. I like Chloe. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, is there? I just want to jump off topic, but I do want to. I'm I'm curious because obviously you guys are not mainstream, and like we in mainstream have to follow protocol of like how STD testing works. It's every 14 days. COVID is anywhere between 24 and 72 hours. If you're vaccinated, it's once. It's it's one time a week. Like mm-hmm. so, if you have a shoot on Friday, as long as you're COVID tested like once, mm-hmm. you know, you're good. How is it with OnlyFans creators? That's what I'm going to tell you. Look so, at you guys. Like, it's not a bad, like, is that, is that a bad thing to say? No. no. OnlyFans um, creators? So I, or we always get tested every 14 days. Okay. And then before we meet anybody, we always tell them you need to get checked out and you need to show me your results before we even meet. Okay. If you don't, then you're completely out. Yeah. Um, and do you guys go through talent testing also, or do you go through... Do have we do have talent testing services um, that we 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 have our profiles 
we okay. used it in the very beginning when we kind of dabbled around doing kind of like studio things. Um, we went the you know she went the studio route, and I handled the logistics and like all right hey you know what you know making sure this gets set up, making sure that gets set up if we're going to go down that route. And if you take a look at everything in the grand financial aspects of things, um, you take a look at what labs they use, the correlation between the labs and the drop service and everything mm -hmm. of what am I paying for? What am I, am I paying for the portal? Am I paying for this little gold sticker I can put right next to my name that says I'm TTS? Mm -hmm. Or do I use local labs that are affiliated in the same lab like you know, the largest lab network in the United States and I pay them directly, it's going to save us instead of $1,000 a month or $1,150 a month for two individuals, I pay, we pay like a fraction of that. We get the same service, same doctors, same, same lab, same blood work, same rant, everything ran the same. But we do have it there in the event that she does shoot because she does shoot with um, established individual, individuals who are in the industry. And it's if we go down that route to shoot with those individuals, we'll use the TTS right. uh, for anything else, um, especially locally. We use our local services here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the the thing with us is obviously we, you know, we use talent testing or cutting edge mm -hmm. testing. Yeah, um, you know, and people always want to be like, oh, well, you know, my insurance pays for my own testing, and it's like that's cool, but we don't trust that. Mm -hmm. So we'd rather everyone be on the same page of, like, you only have this option or this option. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's just the way that we – because, like, if you were to go to your – a doctor or some shit that, like, we never even heard of or anyone could just write up a fucking – like, shockingly, you can just create your own fucking test if you wanted to and be like, ha-ha, it's legit, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, with that, I have always had one question with that. I mean, with the, with the times – let's say take a look at the past – Five years, how many missteps has TTS and their labs had? Trust me, dude. I I don't. I think TTS is. I could say a lot of things. Yeah. Cutting edge, on the other hand, mm -hmm. it's the same price as like what you would pay out here for TTS because it's like third yeah. party. Cutting edge is phenomenal. Like in my opinion, sure it's ex more expensive, but you get your results the next day fucking guaranteed because they do all their shit in California, you know? Yeah. Like, they run it in Northridge and then they run it four hours down that way and then you get the results at 7 o'clock in the morning. But oh. granted, you can only get tested in California with it. Yeah. You know, TTS, you know, you, you get tested here and then your COVID test goes to Vegas but then your full panel goes to Florida. And it's like, what the fuck? If you would just... Put it in one state in the main, like put it in California, put it in Vegas, yeah. then you get your yeah. results quick as fuck. I yeah. don't want to know that I just paid. What is it out here? Uh, how much is it out here? It's a it's two like two two fifty, 250 or something like that. <laughs> two fifty five. So you're paying two fifty five per drop, yeah, per drop, all year round, mm -hmm. right? Come winter time, I gotta fucking stress out because that plane might get stuck in a snowstorm. In Texas, what the fuck? And yeah. then, like, and then they don't give you, like, sometimes they don't even reimburse you yeah, for something that's out of everyone's control, you know? But CET, on the other hand, they're like, yo, if we fuck up, like, we got you. Okay. But they don't ever fuck up. Like, oh, man, dude, TTS. It's just... Uh, uh, yeah, I could I could say way more, but <laughs> I'm not going yeah, we'll, to. We'll leave it at that. Yeah, we'll leave it. <laughs> yeah, but our, I'll leave it there. you know, us working together, our procedure is pretty simple. You know, fourteen days fourteen day running test, mm -hmm. uh, vaccination, um, no symptoms for anything. I mean, we we make individuals go through a trusted site that we that we go to. Right. We're like, hey, look, here's the location. Go down, get set up with your portal. Set your set everything up. They'll set everything up for you. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is take the time. Right. Take the time to go down there. Other individuals that are creators, we network with them, and a lot of them use TTS. Right. You know, big name creators that we know we work with. They're like, hey, man, I, I use TTS. And we're like, hey, we're Arizona based. Um, this is what we use. Um, and we have our online portal. We show you everything. Anything you need, we can provide, provide it for you. What we don't do is like paper. 
Yeah, you know, absolutely like a, like a paper test. Absolutely. Yeah. I just, absolutely I, I, I just wasn't sure if like OnlyFans creators like pushed the limit to thirty days. Oh no! Oh no, no. hell no! Like I, 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 I no. Personally, I think fourteen days is too long. Like yeah. I, if I had any fucking power in my position to tell TTS or CET, be like, yo, you're paying such a fat price. I wish that it would give you at least two tests yeah. in that week. Yeah, and one of our biggest things too is that when we know we're doing something, because we always kind of schedule things out. Like if we're creating content with this creator or that creator, and the fan aspect is a lot of you know what we what we do, but right, but we also do a lot of fan, uh, content creator collaboration things. And with that, everybody knows when they network with us or communicate with us, like, hey, you know what? We got this going on in this date. It, you know, there's no sucking and fucking leading up to this. Because one, I'm not taking the risk. She's not taking the risk. Risk, uh, you know, over here, he's not taking the risk. Right. Um, you know, as long as we have some transparency and accountability, and I think in a content creation community, that goes a long way. Now, there's certain people that are going to be like, nah, well, why do I have to, you know, if I want to shoot content with you, have to adhere to kind of your rules and guidelines of like you say, hey, we have something on Saturday, I get tested on Monday, get my results by Tuesday or Wednesday, and do nothing up until Saturday. Well, that's just the way it cuts. I mean, if you want to work and collaborate together, because we're not going to risk our safety and our health. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's like, obviously, uh, you know, like herpes is not tested in porn, yeah. right? I mean, everybody would probably come back positive for that shit. Oh, 100%. percent Fucking you know? population, the whole population has it in some form. Right. I mean, yeah, 100%. So it's like, um, you know, I try to tell people, like, when they're getting in the industry, I'm like, look, if you're going to, if you're a sex worker, if you fuck for a living, right, you have just as high chance getting something, whether you're in or out. And the only reason I say that is because there are people that will get tested on Monday, get the results on Tuesday. But just because they tested on Monday doesn't mean they're sitting fucking put yeah. Yeah. till Tuesday they're going to go fuck their sugar daddy, their sugar mama, their fucking neighbor. And then it's like total disrespect and disregard and like just no fucking, it, it like pisses me off yeah, because it's like, selfish. right. And I'm like, and you want to, especially the, mo especially like the people that do end up getting an SCD, yeah. right. They're always like, God damn it. Who the fuck gave me this? And it's like, don't, don't fucking act like that. Mm -hmm. When you play a part, when you play a part in that, yes. you know, like yeah. no one is fucking innocent. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. Like I tried being in the industry a long time ago. I even fucking did some shit like that. And then I learned a very, you know, a fucking risk. I learned my lesson. Right. Yeah. Um, but it's like if, if everyone would just stop doing that, then the industry would be fucking clean. Yeah, it would be. The whole time, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, it's just hard these days with, you know, everything going on. Yes, yeah. it is. But, again, I just, I've always been curious with, because, like, I know Chris has asked me multiple times. He's like, hey, I want to shoot with so-and-so. And I'm very firm on it. I'm like, yeah. if you don't have a TTS test, then, like, it's not yeah. happening. Because yeah. th that's all they care about. Yeah. Give me a TTS or give me a CET test. I don't want to see no, like, Maricopa $25 test or, like, your local doctor, because they don't trust that, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and that's understandable. Yeah, because people do fake tests, some shady stuff. you know, yeah, some shady do. fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I can see that. So yeah, the thing we do is app, it's app based. So I mean, if you don't have the app on your phone, um, that you can log in, verify your information, and it shows your running tests and your results and everything. You're talking on TTS. I know uh, that where the the yeah where we go we get use, yeah the go. place we use. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's not Maricopa. No. No. Oh, what the fuck. Nope. And everything comes straight to your phone, so you, yeah. I mean, what do you pay for that? To be truly honest, you want to be truthfully, truthfully honest. Yeah, I've had it, brother. Nothing, not a penny. What? Same. Whatsoever. Is that because you're like military or same no? fucking test that you would get done at TTS? You're getting it full panel, full seven, panel, you know, full seven, full panel. panel. You got the the anal, the the oral swab. Whoa, yeah. anal! You get you get anal tested. Oh, right? I did. Yeah. Oh, well, he he was answering it, so I'm, you know what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you get anal swap, bro. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. Pay one penny whatsoever. 
And the facility is amazing. Yes, it like, is. Nobody and ever. It, and, Everybody's and very and open-minded. Out. Yeah. In and out no so judgment. quick. Like, it, I love it. I Can you say it. the name of it? Or? Hell no, because I ain't trying to have everybody there. <laughs> wow. <what's it? laughs> I'll tell you off camera, bro. I'll tell you where to go off camera. Okay. I love it. Because you're, you're literally in and out of there. Because, like, when you go to the Maricopa, man, you're sitting in there two, three hours. And I, I ain't dealing with that shit. Well, no what's the people who did some shady shit, like, over the weekend? This place is, you know, brand new, high, high-end high facility, high-tech facility, yep. located really close. Mm-hmm. And walk in hours, you go in, provide your information, driver's license, go through the whole thing, and they set you up with all your records, everything that you need. And the biggest thing is why we decided to go there is the destigmati you know, no stigma. Yes. Mm. A long time ago we used to, you know, go to these third party providers and, and I'll like, judge the fuck out of you. Fuck yeah, yeah. like why are you, are you in here every doing? seven days getting yeah. an S T D test? Like don't worry about where my dick's been or where she's been. Yeah. Just, you know, you know, we pay the, we pay our fucking copay or whatever, and then we were running into the issues with the insurance. They're like, well, hey, hey, yeah, hey, what hey are Dick. You doing? You Dude, just- I used to go to Maricopa all the time, man, and every time I go in there, I see the same goddamn girl. She'd be like, oh, you, are you back? I just saw you like four days ago. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. Oh, man, we'll like, tell you off camera. What are you but fucking the, telling the your friends place. that I'm in here all the time? Like, oh, I see this fucking guy all the time. Comes, You know, like, yeah, what? We'll, we'll definitely tell you the yeah, place we'll, uh, off camera. I mean, I love it there. Like, they know that I'm uh, I'm a OnlyFans creator, and when I go in there, they're greeting, oh, who are you shooting with this time? Like, yeah, they're yeah, cool, they're they're cool really as cool. fuck, bro. Like, who are yeah. you shooting with? Yeah. A little bit, you know, let me know a Younger bit crowd. Yeah. Lifestyle. Younger crowd or, like, yeah. younger? younger? They're all yeah. ages, actually. They're all yeah. ages, but, yeah, most mostly people that do the test and draw your blood and all that stuff, they're they're Pretty young. I pretty hate young. when people You're are in my young. business, man. I went and bought a box of condoms the other day. And this fucking old man was like, well, tell me how it went. Or who's that for? <laughs> I, I just so badly want to be like, I'm going to go fuck your daughter. Is what <laughs> the fuck is happening right yeah, now? Like, yeah, I follow her. I'm going to go, go fucking rail her out. <laughs> yeah. but I um, hate when people are in my shit, dude. Yeah, I'll funny. just fucking say some dumb shit like that. Yeah. Fucking A. So I am curious, are you guys, uh, I know that you guys obviously fuck all the time, apparently, 10, ten scenes deep. Are we cucking someone today? Oh. Or I mean, you're probably going to get cucked because, I I, look it, I've I seen this know. movie a million times. <laughs> yeah? I know how it ends. Dude, I, mean, I, I get cucked every fucking time, man. I just yeah, hey. sit here and watch. <laughs> yeah, that's, we got that nice cuck chair. I was curious, do you ever play, like... Do I ever step in? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm not tested right now. So, but usually, uh, if I, like, vibe with the chick, I mean, sure. Like, if I don't, like, oh, man. Uh, Like Chris said earlier, fucking on camera is, like, it just doesn't do it for me. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a sadist. So, Mm -hmm. as, as much as I might not look like one, I'm a fucking wild. And... On camera, I feel like I can't, like, act like that. Yeah. You know? Like, so, I don't know. I'd rather do, like, off-camera shit, Mm -hmm. you know? But if someone's super hot and she's like, yo, I'm down, I'm like, oh, cool. I'll go get tested for that. Cool. But Everybody's different. That's okay. Yeah. So, who's getting cucked today? You're probably going to get cucked. I've been cucked. Chris, you getting cucked? Hell no. Never. Oh, you're getting cucked? (laughs) I mean, I'm, I'm going to step He's back. like, sign me the fuck up. I want to be cucked. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I'll be over here watching. Two cucks. You ever had two cucks? Two cucks, one room. Um, oh, shit, dude. Two cucks, two cucks, one cucks, room. Dot one com. room. <laughs> oh, see? Boom. There you go right there. <laughs> there you go. Fucking buy it, dude. Fucking buy it. Yeah, we're going to have to get out of here and go trademark this shit right now. The last podcast I did, I think I named off like fucking probably 15 porn sites we were just talking about shit and it that right that correct wording just sounded so good yeah, yeah. so i was like boom boom.com you know whatever <laughs> Domain cool. two cucks one room See, and, and this this is how stuff happens with us we'll just be sitting around having casual conversations joking around about shit and then you never know you go buy that website and then, and then the fucking idea just comes out of it so yeah shit two cucks one room yep we're you gonna have go, to trademark that shit and buy the domain when we get could, out here you could buy that and then who knows 10 years down the road know, some right? dude might just yeah. come up with that and be like this motherfucker yeah. came up with my idea yeah. like, nope, you want to buy it for me go ahead that's well that's like i would say uh uh blake blossom you know who that is i right? sure do yep you guys sure know do. blake no no okay so model that i represent we're doing this like we're we're reaching out like we're expanding her brand mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, Blake, like buy your BlakeBlossom.com. Buy your Twitter handle, your Instagram, just like make sure. And now like she should have done this like fucking right when she started. Yeah. It's this, you know, and we're going through this whole fucking thing. And I'm like going on GoDaddy. I'm like, okay, BlakeBlossom.com, taken. Oh. B-L-K-B-L-S-S-M, which is her Instagram handle or Twitter handle, taken. Oh, bummer. Twitter, taken. Instagram, taken. OnlyFans, taken. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, so I'm on the phone with GoDaddy. I'm like, yo, um, we got a fucking problem. Because, like, she's got the shit trademarks. It's all LLC. Mm -hmm. Like, whoever this person is, is like, hopefully if they don't upload something and then, like, screw themselves. Anyway, long story short, she ends up texting her lawyer and was like, yo, someone's got my fucking name everywhere. Yeah. And the lawyer goes... Oh, I actually bought all of it for you for your birthday. Oh wow! He wanted to surprise her before like someone else fucking jacked it. I don't know. I don't know why I just got on that conversation. I, we're, we're, oh, we're talking about websites. My bad. That's but so yes, sweet, though. buy your shit because someone, some fucking hungry fan, oh, will yeah. do it for you, and then you're fucked. Yeah, we've already had that conversation yeah, with him. Yeah, we're we're yeah. I think yeah. we're we're golden on that. We're, yeah, we're, we're golden. Good. Like the next evolution of what we're doing in the next six months is. Yeah, we. Yeah, I, I can't yeah, wait. Tom, I can't line wait. Line up things left and right. Yeah, it's tight. yeah. You might have to bring. You might have to bring us back in the near future, bro. In like six, six, seven months or something, bro, and get an update on everything that's going on. Yeah, because OnlyFans isn't around. We did we did a test on a website where just to test the like the data and traffic and everything and what we wanted to do and what she wanted to do and it's like okay it's there sick now we're we pulled it back and you know we always said from the beginning hey we make tons of mistakes that was another mistake we made you know we had to learn a lot about payment processing a lot about website building putting the right team around you and one of our biggest things as the three of us is one to own your own identity and your own path to things not Mm -hmm. making everybody else rich because if you take a look at, at rudimentary math, right, and if you're on many vids, if you're on OnlyFans, if you're on Clips for Sale, Fansly, all these other profiles, all these platforms, you're selling your content, right? But you're selling your content at a disadvantage because you're losing percentages per dollar per platform. At the end of the year, you take a look at your taxes, make everything calculated and in there, your time, your effort, your money, your energy. What are you making? You're really not making much, but you're making the house a ton of money. Why not, one, shuffle the know-how, the knowledge, and the money, and the experience of, one, making a shit ton of mistakes, and make yourself money. Take those dollars out of their their pocket and put them in your own. It's just going to take a little bit of time and effort, a little bit of trial and error. And that's where we're at right now. We're like, all right, hey, we have everything in place. We built the frame of the house. We have all the teams in place to full-blown launch this, and it's just one click of a button, get it up and running, and continue to push and drive with it. And get this, guy's, this guy's yeah. smart. Good job. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I couldn't have better men, any <laughs> any better mentors in this thing, man. It's is is incredible. Like that's dope. Hey, man, yeah, because we did we did the industry stuff and our her first industry scene was like I was like, hey, man, I'm cool. I'm gonna watch my wife oh do my this God. professional stuff, and they're like, well, what do you know about things? And I'm like, oh, nothing really. I'm just kind of fucking here. <laughs> well, can you help out with you know we're, we are we're a guy short. Can you help out with this? Can you help out with that? And I'm like. I don't know how to fucking move these big ass tripods or yeah. I don't know how to slide this camera. I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just here to watch my wife get fucked by a porn star. Right. That's it. And I, I think I honestly fucked the video up because I was moving cameras around and my hands were shaky. <laughs> and you can hear the slide like <laughs> grinding because I didn't know how to unlock it. And when they gave it, you know, because she got a copy of the video when, when she got it, it was like, my, my bad, I fucked that up. But yeah. hey, you know, it was a, it was an experience for us, and I'm like, yeah, yeah we'll never do that again. You know, you're Fuck. getting work out of me for free. You're paying her, and it's really not not for us. Yeah, it wasn't for us. What what company did you guys shoot for? I can't even remember the name of the company. They were out of San Diego, and came in. So I don't even fucking. It was, it was a fuck. I can't remember. I don't even know of a single company in San Diego. I mean, people are always moving over to San Diego, and they're like, but, like, nobody wants to fucking go to San Diego. Yeah, it was, like, early, early, early days. It was, like, one of the very first couple things that we did. And I'm like, okay, well, this is is different. Damn. 
This is different. But it, it kind of set a precedence for us to where we're like, hey, you know what? Let's take a look at things. Uh, yeah. Because there were some initial talks with like, all right, individuals reaching out like, hey, uh, we would like to sign you for this, this, take a look at it, read it over. Yeah, he's um, like, basically, he's like my lawyer. He reads everything. He's like, yeah. Would you yeah, consider yourself lawyer. a nerd? Yeah. Hey, man, I got into law school. I got a GED, but I got into law school and never went. Yo, um, so. I, I always say to myself, and I'm, and I'm glad I've always stuck to it. When I was in high school, I was like, Ryan, do not make fun of any of these nerds because they're going to make you fucking rich one day. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. And I had a buddy, long story short, hit me up that day. It was, Ryan, I need someone that can code. And I was like, I got you. Put him in contact with my nerdy friend. I was like, yo. And he, I call him nerd all the time. I was like, hey, no, nerd, I got a client for you. Now my client is like completely happy because it's like this half million dollar project. And he's happy. And I'm like, I play like a small little role in it. And if it yeah. takes off, then like, I don't got to yeah. do shit at all. Yeah. But. Yeah. Hey, man. You guys are smart, man. Everybody serves a purpose. So. <laughs> yeah. Everybody All right, so what are we? Are we're gonna we're gonna finish up. I just wanna. What's your handle? Where can people find you? On Twitter, OnlyFans, Easy Hot Wife, Triple X. Everything's pretty, the same. Yeah, pretty simple. Dope, dope. Chris, what about you? Uh, <clears throat> on <clears throat> on Twitter, you can find me uh, Chocolate Beast. I think with the number five at the end of that. I, I don't know how many other Chocolate Beasts there is on Twitter, but <laughs> hey. And then uh, OnlyFans, Chocolate Beast, uh, Az. Nice, nice. And then we're gonna. Are you guys gonna film something or? I don't know. I'm not. I don't yeah. know if I'm in the mood. No, I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm always in the mood. It's totally up to her. you guys. I no, I'm. A, I'm always in the mood when it comes to her. I mean, look at her. Like, come on now. Yeah, I think I'm ready to get cucked. <laughs> <laughs> go, sit go sit in the corner. Go get in the corner. We're gonna end out the podcast with you telling them what you're about to do to him. I am going to pull down his pants and I'm gonna suck his big black cock. Ooh. God damn. So if you guys want to see that, go over to the blue and white or the white and blue, whatever you want to call it, and uh, go subscribe. Everyone's going to get a copy of this content, and you guys can go enjoy it. And uh, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I think we're on... uh, God, we're so close to 600 subscribers. You guys are fucking awesome. And uh, share that shit up. Pamela, AZ Hot Wife... Chris Indica Flower Fan, <laughs> a.k.a. Chocolate Beast. A.k.a. Rick Ross. A.k.a. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how many. Get a there. fucking iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Maybe, maybe in the next six months I'll have one. God damn it, dude. I'm going to give you. I got an iPhone right there. I'm going to fucking give it to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys next week on my tripods. Peace out. <laughs>